Good morning and welcome to Cat's Cooking Kitchen. This morning I'm going to get started a crock pot beef and noodle dish made with leftover, that's not it, <laughs> wrong container, leftover uh, beef tips in mushroom gravy. And trust me, this will be good. I never make beef and noodles unless I have leftover roast. Well, today I have leftover beef tips and mushroom gravy. Now, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to spray our crock pot with some non-stick cooking spray. And this is really, <coughs> really easy. Because this stuff has, that's why I use leftover roast for my beef and noodles because it has so much flavor. Usually I just have leftover roast and I don't have the gravy, but I'm thinking <laughs> this is going to be so good. So what we're going to do is we're going to dump in, and that's probably a couple cups. You don't have to use the gravy. You can do this with just the... Uh, Leftover roast chunked up and thrown in your crock pot. We're going to start it on low. So we'll get that set. Okay. And now we'll add in our ingredients to make the beef part of our dish. We're going to add one stick of butter. This is basically what I do when I don't have gravy, except I would add two cans of mushroom soup and I'm only going to add one. But I'm still going to add a full stick of butter. Luckily, I still have some. I have been making caramel corn all weekend, pretty much, as I, as I could, but I ran out of ingredients. So as you can see, I have a whole pan of popcorn over here that hasn't been made yet. My husband, Dave, he's at the store right now getting me my refill of butter and brown sugar and stuff so I can finish up my uh, popcorn. And now we're going to add just one can of mushroom soup. Okay. And this is so easy, I'm telling you, so easy. If you didn't have the gravy, you would want to add two cans of mushroom soup. And then we take a whole 32-ounce box of beef stock. We're going to pour that all over. Now, I did kind of rush the beef tips the other day for dinner. And they weren't quite as tender as they would normally be. They were good. Trust me, they were really good. We served them over mashed potatoes. But I would have liked them. I like them to like just fall apart tender. And they were just close. So this is all we did. You don't even really have to stir it. It'll all melt together. You can stir it later as you check on it. There you go. You can, you, the amount of beef you use is up to you. How much beef you want in your noodles. When I make chicken and noodles, I do it the same way, only I add two cans of cream of chicken soup instead of mushroom. And I usually, if I use chicken, uh, I'll put in probably three breasts. Here's a tip while well, I'm thinking about it. When you do that, and this is all cooked, and you're, they'll tell you to take your chicken out and shred it, you don't have to do that. It's so easy. Get your electric mixer out before you add any noodles or anything. Get your electric mixer out and just whir it around. Whir it around, whir it around, whir it around. It'll just shred that chicken beautifully. And if you don't have chicken and you're wanting some chicken noodles and you have everything else, I always have canned chicken breast meat. 
in my pantry. And I'll use two cans. It's a lot of chicken in there. Those are 12 ounce cans. So you're getting, and it's probably equivalent to about three chicken breasts. So that's all you do. Now we're going to let this simmer. Let's, I put in the beef and my mushroom gravy. Mostly my, my beef and noodles do not have mushrooms in them, but they will today. We did that. So you could use, I don't know, two or three cups of cooked beef. Like I said, it's a as much as you want or less. If you don't like a lot of beef in your noodles, you like the flavor, then use a little less, like two cups of chunked up or, you know, your roast. Um, and then we put in one can of mushroom gravy. Two, if you don't have gravy already on your beef. One stick of butter. And one full box of beef stock. And then you just walk away. Forget about it for about four or five hours. I think, yeah, because we usually like to eat around two or three on a Sunday because we just eat one meal. Most days we eat just one meal and then a snack or something. So um, we'll eat probably around three o'clock. So around three hours from now, which would be plenty when you're already using cooked meat. Now, if you're using raw chicken, you're going to have to go like the five hours or so. Um, then I will come back. I will show you. I add a package of Reams noodles. They're frozen in the freezer section. Do not use egg noodles. Egg noodles turn to mush in a crock pot. You want to use Reams, and you'll be so glad you did because they are absolutely delicious. So you just hang in there. I'll be back, and I'll show you how we finish this up, or I'll show you. I'll just come back and show you when I add the mushrooms and or mushrooms. See, I get ahead of myself. When I add the noodles, I'll come back. I'll show you. We'll add that, and uh, sometimes I kick it up on high. You don't have to, especially if you're not in a hurry. Um, and then you wait two hours, but you stir them every so often. Keep stirring them. And in two hours, you'll have the best beef and noodles or chicken and noodles, whatever you make. In my opinion, my humble opinion, it's the best chicken and noodles. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. You guys go enjoy a couple seconds. I know for you, it's only a couple seconds. For me, it's going to be three hours. <laughs> I love, I love being able to pause my video. So remember y'all, you're watching Cat's Cooking Kitchen. You can find me on Facebook or YouTube and hit the like button, hit the share button. Let's get some of these easy, easy meals. Not everybody can spend all day in the kitchen and they only have a you know, just a limited amount of time running kids. They're, they're like me. They don't have a lot of energy. They can't, can't stand up and do something for very long at any one time. They need some breaks. So my thing is all about easy, easy and delicious. Okay. So share it with anybody, you know, that might appreciate being able to throw a meal together in you know, in a quick amount of time. I mean, this won't be quick today. It takes hours, but if you're going to be gone, you know, like put it on before you go to church in the morning, come back a couple hours later, or you can start it in the morning, add your noodles before you go to church, come back, your noodles will be almost ready. So if you eat a noon meal, you can, you can totally do this when you're, when you're busy. It's, it's not a big deal. Crock pots are the bomb. Love crock pot cooking. Okay, I'll see you in just a little bit. And again, thank you so much for watching and all your comments and shares and stuff are really appreciated. Be right back. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. It's been three hours. And I did change my mind. It's been on high for three hours. You can see everything's cooking really nice. 
I wish, like the TV cook saying, wish I had smell a video, because it is so scented in here with beef and gravy smells. This is a 24 ounce pack of Reams homemade egg noodles. And if you haven't used them, oops, there we go. This is what they are. And you just dump them in, all of them. Dump them in there. Stir them around. Just a good stir, get them going. Come back every, I don't know, 15 minutes or so until they get cooking good, but you gotta, gotta keep them stirred because even as they, as they thicken and draw in some of that broth, they'll need stirred more often. So I'll switch over to one of these now so that I can get clear down in there instead of the, the other spatula is just a little scraping spatula I use to get the soup out of the can. So, we are good to go. See you back in a couple hours, and we'll finish this off. Or I'll be back in a couple hours. I'll see you in a couple seconds. Hang in there, and thanks so much for watching. Hi, everybody. Welcome back again. This is our final segment, and we have beef and noodles. All ready. Look at those. Now I'm just going to make a vegetable and some potatoes. And we will have a wonderful Sunday dinner. So I hope you're all having a great Sunday. I hope you're great afternoon. I just got off my very first Zoom call. It was um, a baby shower. And... It was so much fun, and I just loved, loved, loved being able to be a part of it. So I hope you're all having a great weekend, and God bless you and keep you, and go out there and be happy by making other people happy. Okay, till the next time, goodbye from Cat's Cooking Kitchen. <laughs>